So I feel like after watching all these episodes of Epitaph, I, I've got to come up with an ability that matches the stupidity but coolness of the entire franchise. And sure, I could pick something like becoming a lizard. <laughs> and lizard really was a weird Spider-Man villain. He just was a lizard who ate spiders. Was that really all the thought he put into it? Good one, Stanley. Or of course, having six arms. You know what? I'm starting to think most superheroes weren't that cool and had dumb abilities also. Next one was Nick Fury, by the way. He's just, it's an eye patch. But I've got one better. I'm the man who be are you smarter than a fifth grader for the DS? I am unstoppable. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Ryan Reacts. Today, folks, we're watching episode three of Epitaph Erased, a series that I have been having an absolute blast watching through. Of course, folks, like check out the original link, more for original content creator, link be in the description. Oh my god. Hey guys, guess what? Thunderstorm. <laughs> Why? You could have put Thunderstorm, but you put T-Storm last time? This computer's out of control. They heard my criticisms and they killed the T-Storm. Or it really was a tor- Hello? Hello? I heard robbery. Oh dear. That was the museum's emergency hotline. <laughs> and that voice sounded rather young. <laughs> why why do you just squad. have the museum? How important is this museum? What about all the people being murdered on the street? Tidy thieves may have defeated Dr. Oh. Ashling, but they cannot defeat Dr. Beefdog! <laughs> why do you have a stethoscope? Why are you listening to my heart? What does my heart say? A lot of cry. Episode three. The doctor is in. I know. I fucking saw, brother. I saw all six of them. Bifton is here, and he's got a PhD in that, as well as a doctorate in philosophy and modern linguistics. Scottish linguistics. Why are you Scottish now? Why, when you turn to a furry, you turn to a Scott? Looks like Biffin missed. Next time, you won't be so lucky. Well, maybe attack more than just one stomp and start talking. Giovanni rips off the knife, shapes to his side with a sticky squelch. He tosses it in the air, hits the head, and sends it flying towards the doctor. And the. Is that all? What the hell? I, uh, I thought that would work better. Uh, can I have my knife back? How it, it, thick is his abs? It went in. I lose it. Oh, yeah, no. sure. Oh, thanks. <laughs> For a minute there, I was worried that you were throwing it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I told her I wouldn't break it. Oh, I would have told her that if I had asked for permission to use it. Oh, <laughs> so now she's going to You're a great super villain, that. bud. Molly scans Dr. Beefton, looking for any sort of weak spot. As he returns his arm to his side, she knows Uh, it's his, uh, I'm pretty sure it's his eyes. Suspended inside the monster's oh, that's their decorative. Giovanni, I think I've got an idea. This guy has sleep powers. Oh, of course, the bull's not real. Dreams. That's why the knife didn't work. This person can make dreams like real dreams. Real life dreams. Maybe this big cow guy is his dream. And all we have to hey. do to beat him is wake hey, up. It's a bull. Hmm. Clever girl. That means Beefton will have to take you out first. Ah! Oh! Beefton apparently does not. He <laughs> just hit a girl and made her do flips and land on the ground. Oh, Beefton does not give a shit how old you are. <laughs> Did you just put a fart sound effect on me? There's too much beef in the way. We need another way to wake him up. God, I'm hungry. What else wakes people up? Loud noises. Lies, Cooked beef water. wakes him up. Mom. If we don't figure out something <laughs> fast, we're doomed. You're doomed either way, little girl. Say good night. Ah. Whoa. Toro, Toro. <gasps> oh, please. That's the oldest trick in the book. 
You think something like that you fall for it. Proves you never a cow. This jellyfish remind me of SpongeBob. There go the turtles. What? It looks like some of the lights came loose. Try shining them in his eyes. You got it. Come on, one of these. Can we get a backstory episode that just talks about him and his turtles? Giovanni takes a stage light in each hand and shines their beams into the monster's torso. Oh. Oh. Oh, if he wakes Lines up. the coat, blocking the light from Sylvie's vision. Dang it! Why am I always <laughs> getting screwed over by cloth? <laughs> Don't get you, bud. Somewhere's out there, there's a seamstress just sitting in her lair. <laughs> Press it again, Giovanni. <laughs> God, seamstresses are so freaking evil. She really asked the bears for help. He we all know bears and bulls. From Fort cool guy, one in each oh, hand, and lifts them like oh no. Oh, bear sword! That is so cool! <laughs> oh, it's very cool. <laughs> hey, bud. It doesn't seem like your dumb attack's too dumb if it's just too less than a getting hit by a bear. Ancient potion. A bottle of healthy soup materializes out of his sweat. It sounds gross, but it tastes great. Down the hatch. What? <sighs> See? All your you can so just generate recovery sweat? items? You now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I like how one of them is just slapping his foot. Bury me in a cocoon of dinosaur blood. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, that'll wake him up. Did Molly get that? What is that horrible sound? I found the fire alarm. Pulling these outside of an actual fire is a crime, but I'm a criminal now. Oh shit! I never would have expected it. Also, it is pretty funny that her ability is dumb, but she really is the brains of the group. Leaving Sylvie on the floor, groggy and moaning. <laughs> <laughs> moaning? Oh, nice work, Bear oh, Trap. Boy, he hops man. off the ground. It's a good thing your energy recovers instantly Ooh. after you win Ooh. a battle. What is, I'm uh. sure my bones were super broken. <laughs> you were smashed by bears at least 15 times. Your bones are probably broken. I've never been defeated before. Yeah, well, that's just what happens when you mess with the Bonsai Blaster Elite. Also, if they just had like a large bell and went ding ling ling ling, it would have worked. Of course, yes! Since your membership fee has been <laughs> up to 100 bucks a month. Oh, Woo! I don't have that kind of money. What? But your family owns a store. Doesn't that mean Oh, wait, they have that. Wait, we gotta pay more? <laughs> Truly criminal. Tell the museum staff can't let you take the amulet. Wait, what do you mean? That tour guide lady is the one who wants to steal the amulet, not us. Likely story. I didn't come here for a stupid necklace. I came here for mummies and dinosaur eggs. Maybe a cursed sword that I could throw at girls or Ooh, something. Dinosaur mummies. I didn't even mummies. know that thing existed until she was all, Ooh, I'm going to steal it and take your epithet. Ooh, look at me, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't expect me to believe that. It's true. They were digging through a bunch of museum property when we found them, and then they imprisoned us. She specifically said she wanted to steal my epithet. So you're saying I've been tricked? Yeah, but that's all right. Now we can team up and stop her. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for a second. That's all right. I've been tricked like seven times this series. God, you're so supportive, Molly. And God dang, Molly. I freaking love you. I've never seen a more lovable freaking little girl character in my entire life. Like, everything about her is so goddamn wholesome. It, she is a bean that needs to be protected at all times. <laughs> Are you kidding? I am a highly trained epithet user who graduated college and became a psychologist at the age of 15. You say that, <laughs> bud, but do you see how many abilities Giovanni has? Like you. Hmm. 
move. I'm gonna hit him. No, no, no. His right hand looks like a foot. Let's not hit him. He's deformed. Most of my job is not hitting people, even when they deserve it. When you're nice at people, they tend to be nice back. You should probably hit your dad, though. Kid, do you have any friends? No. I'll be your friend. Let's let him go. I feel bad now. I'm not interested in working with outlaws. He reminds me of high school me. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, but... Oh, dang it! He did it all that? I don't have full control over Dream Big while I'm sleeping. Ooh, but I thought you were highly trained. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Maybe I could plead self-defense. You attacked us <laughs> first, idiot! Yeah? Well... I don't know, okay? <laughs> it's just laying on the, on the ground so sad! We can clean this up later. That's relatable. We need to team up if we want to beat that lady. That's what I do whenever a video does bad. I just splat in the ground go. Ah! I'll do it. If I must, I shall let you join the Bonsai Blasters. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> of course it is. I'm the leader. You have to follow me. I'm not becoming a criminal. And even if I wanted to be one, why would I follow you? You're weaker than I am. <laughs> that's a weird thing, seeing as how I defeated you. Shut up! <laughs> Only because that girl was here. She is my faithful minion, and therefore an extension of my power. Um, guys? I hate to be the bear trap of bad news, but, well, okay. There's good news and bad news. He's so proud of her bear trap comment. Mm. 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 Leader. Mm -hmm. And mm, proud leader. Fire alarm went off, so the museum's up to code. That's good. Safety's <laughs> important. <laughs> the news is that the sure, fire Steve alarm Bonnie. went off, which means... The police are coming. The police are coming. And just, and just wake up, you freak! <laughs> we have to get out. Why of didn't nobody think to do this it, ahead of time? It alerts the fire department, the police, <coughs> the mayor, and I don't know who else. The mayor just shows up. I'm coming to help beat up fire. They'll probably increase security because of this break-in. We've lost our one shot at the necklace, and it's all because you let them. <laughs> I apologize, Lady Mira. I, I did not mean to upset you. I Quit wasting time apologizing and dig! If we don't find this stupid amulet in the next three minutes... So was your kicks you weaker because you keep hurting your foot, or...? Waste of time! <laughs> or because he's so rock hard. Everything in my life ends up like this. <laughs> Lady Mira, I am sorry for disobeying your orders. And I am sorry I know so little about fire alarms. In the desert, <laughs> the only thing we have to put out our fires with is... Sorry, right, man. We all... And we don't study everything. the only thing we have to eat. Hey, Lady Mira, remember when we ate sand? That's it. <laughs> that's it was all we had. Really, it's impressive I'm not to walk up so much... Do you make glass in your tummy? No, no, no. This is it! The amulet. Finally. Oh, shit. She's got the one for all amulet. You think she's gonna betray him? Why is he Scottish? Oh, what's a Scottish you've never spoken to a cow before? Epithet erased. So he's 15, huh? I would have thought he was two. <laughs> Why is that there? Please, call me boss. Okay, um. It is magical, let's be honest. It's, uh, yeah, no, that was right call. Right call. Why does your bat have a knife uh, taped to it? Oh, you mean my soul slugger doom bat? Uh, <laughs> that's a very good question. It's a true question. Trap. It's so that it does extra damage, of course. Yeah. <laughs> this duh. way I can hit someone with all the powers of a knife and a bat. I think that key was a lot bigger than I uh, was led on to be. <laughs> what? And ruin a perfectly good bat? <laughs> uh, I might be evil, but I'm evil on a budget. <laughs> Put more knives on it then. Is our plan when we confront this woman? Run up and smack her with a bat? Uh, so yes. Slugger Doom bat? With your toy? <laughs> oh, like you're one to talk, Mr. Yo Yo. Dr. Yo Yo. I'm a psychologist. <laughs> oh, also, got totally a knife on a bat is not a toy. Oh, bam! Ah, nailed it. Toddler you know Guys. Oh, good. Thanks a lot, Paul. Now I'm setting a bad example in front of my minions. <laughs> I challenge you to set an example. 
Why are you following this guy anyways? The harsh realities of this world have forced me into this life of crime. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the start of a cool dark backstory. <laughs> Take me, for example. Uh, my parents are ghosts. <laughs> Dead ghosts. Feel bad now? Embarrassed, maybe. I wish my <laughs> mom was a ghost. She's just dead. <laughs> I love this series so much. My office is always open. Oh, thanks, but I don't <laughs> think I can afford a therapist. First session's free. My specialty is epithet-based problems, but I've done some domestic stuff before. Oh, okay. You can have my card, too. The Blind Deaf Toy Emporium? It's our store. Yeah, you can go there when you're in the market for a new yo-yo. I hate you. It's <laughs> Your business model is that of drugs? This boy goes in and just says the first one's on me? Because they always come back. Question to anybody who does therapy. Is this normal? Is this a normal thing? Or is it literally just he lives on a drug model? <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong. This could literally be just a therapy thing. And they all live by the rules of the drug market. Want to stop them? We should create an actionable list of our strengths and weaknesses. Good idea. Hey, you, what's your epithet? I'm not telling <laughs> you my epithet. That's what strategic you... suicide. What kind of idiot How do you not know what his epithet is by now? Intruder spotted. <laughs> Greetings, small girl and others. It is I, Hello, buff Arba, friend. the man whose epithet is Barrier. I am Dr. <laughs> Review, and also Thank you, I forgot. Thief from reaching my lady, much like a barrier. <laughs> my epithet. <laughs> That's a lot of barrier. I, what? <laughs> is this a joke? No jokes, only Why epithets. Why didn't you put a barrier in the Mine door? Barrier. <laughs> Please come with me. My mistress has located the amulet and wishes to speak with you about amulet things. <laughs> like thievery. Um, Mr. Barrier? Please call me Indus. Mr. Barrier is my epithet. <laughs> That's a lot of fun! Indus? And the low Especially amount of math means epithet, more fun. Right? Does that mean the amulet really works? That's what she wants to find out. Come along then. Listen. They don't know that I'm not on their side anymore. If I could convince them to let me pass, then I could buy us some time before she is really the dumb, so it won't be hard. Follow my lead. All right, Sylvester. You need to play this carefully. Your name's Sylvester. It's all over. This man seems pretty <laughs> foolish, but you can't be too certain. It could be some kind of trick. Sorry, I had, I had no to do it. would really be forward enough to tell their enemies about their powers, would they? <laughs> Unless. Yes. Of course! He's trying to lure me into a false sense of security. <laughs> oh no, he's stupid. He's going to beat him. And I'm not about to start now. The game of mental chess has already begun. First, I'll counterattack with reverse psychology. The most basic tool this Oh, you are and doomed. Also greatest weakness. Once he's caught off guard, I'll swoop in for the kill. Knight takes rook. Bishop takes pawn. Sheep to e5. I can still smell a smile rook upon my sheep. body. Sheep takes b. Sheep, 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 sheep. Yeah, our friend went brain dead. Standing there, not blinking for forty seconds. <laughs> Shaking a lot. Sheep even deep. What? I hate to interrupt your manic twitching, but I wish to remind <laughs> you that we have found the amulet. You can go right on through. I'm what a sure polite you're boy. Quite excited to see it. Uh, 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 what? Yeah, your manic right. shaking? <laughs> Us down the hall to the left. Uh, thanks. No problem. <laughs> My epithet is barrier. <laughs> now then, Miss Minion, if you'll please come with me. I, um. We mustn't keep Lady Mera waiting. Uh. Okay. No! She's not going anywhere with you. Hmm. Why does your knife have a bat tape to it? <laughs> I've seen him fight. He's he gets strong. it. strong. There's no way we can beat him. That doesn't matter, Bear Trap. You're my minion, and that means I have to protect you. If you won't fight for yourself, then I'll do it for you. Not to mention, I've been breaking things on our way over here. I've got 12 hits stored up, so my <gasps> next one's going to be critical. 
I just have to hit him once, and I win. Just try and take her! My goodness! She's your minion. But the two of you have a bond so strong that you're willing to protect her. It's almost like as a... though you're bodyguarding each other! Like a barrier. I, I okay. think I understand. I was, ex I, was I literally was, I didn't say it because I thought he was going to say it. <laughs> Very well. You have to be polite to boys who smile like that. The honorable way. One on one combat. Oh no. Yeah, that's more like oh no. It. My name is Indus Tarbella. My I will never remember barrier. that name. You're Prepare Mr. Barrier yourself. still. I'm Giovanni Potage, leader of these Potage? My epithet. I want to eat your name. It sounds like an Italian the dessert. Bad guy there ever was. Very well, Mr. Butt Whoop. Battle <laughs> begins. <laughs> Don't you worry, Bear Trap. I'm totally gonna. Barrier. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. The battle is over. By my spirit victorious. animal. Come, <laughs> you sure are, bud. Before you take me, can I ask you a question? I am always happy to assist a fellow bodyguard. Miss Lady Mara said she specifically wanted my epithet, right? I don't understand. Why mine? It's not very strong. It's not even that useful. Hmm. Well, you see, Miss Bodyguard, Lady Mara's epithet is very strong. Strong enough to defeat me in a single blow. Ooh. But I'm afraid her power comes with a price. Oh. A curse. Oh. A curse? She wants to dumb yes. down the curse. Lady Mira has not revealed all the secrets of her epithet to me, but I do know that it keeps her in great pain at all times. Ever since I began following her, we have searched, searched far and wide to find a way to rid her of that pain. Why, you should have seen the way her face lit up when she learned about that amulet. A way to gain a second epithet. A second power that could Whoa. heal her. Something to dull her constant pain. Lady Mera has waited her entire life for something like that. Oh! Now that she finally has it within her grasp. Is her power glass or is she afraid of glass? I don't know. To get it. Fragile. Oh! Weakens any object to breaking point also affects the user that's why she talked about her leg breaking oh my gosh that's freaking cool oh they did it again i can never guess the abilities because every time the abilities come up it's always something or an idea that i've never had a concept of having the ability of fragileness Whoa! That's actually really good. Like, not only can she use glass as a weapon, because glass is fragile, but she can make anything fall apart, which means any damage is instant, pretty much death, because you can make them shatter in a second, which is pretty funny, because her partner is a barrier, which is the opposite. Perfect. Cylinder protection. The most unfragile thing of them all. Probably why she likes them, actually. I imagine the curse is literally, she's just, like, she's fragile herself. I think there even was a joke that she hurt her foot. I think at some point I could have imagined that. But what a cool ability with so many. Oh, man, I can't wait to see what kind of unique ideas they come up with. And I imagine they want the dumb ability to maybe dumb down her own ability so she's not, like, fragile all the time. Which, in hindsight, you probably should have just asked Molly to see if that worked in the first place. <laughs> Like, touch. It's also really weird how Molly thinks her ability is so weak when in reality it's extremely powerful. I think it really just shows Molly's low mental image of herself that she can't notice that dumb is not dumb. It's immensely powerful. I mean, for God's sakes, if Giovanni can come up with as many ideas as he is, I scratch myself with my toenail and it hurt really bad. <laughs> Don't ask how I did that. If Giovanni can come up with ideas like being able to heal himself, the steam pushing him forward, Dumb has so many really powerful effects and abilities and ideas. And I've said it in the first episode, I'll say it again. Truly my favorite part of this entire series is just imagination. Because the creators 
or the people who did this role play session, their creativity was off the chart. And uh, I, it makes me look forward to new characters and seeing their abilities. Like I've watched One Piece for a long time, right? Sooner or later, you get copycats. Like recently I'm watching the Big Mom arc and someone has oven ability, which is literally the same as fire ability and lava ability. There's no difference. But I love that they would take an ability like that and come up with everything that could be associated with that word and have so many more abilities. Man, oh man, I love this series. It's so freaking fun. I'm going to feel really bad when we hit episode 7 and it finishes. I wish that they could be able to get a budget like how uh, Lackadaisy and Hell of a Boss are able to so that they could continue to do this because I really love this series. I really do. And I would love to see this be a full animation and like take out like the squares, even though they're able to give such personality when they're doing the role playing squares and stuff like that, like the falling over, the spinning and stuff like that. Uh, I would love to see this be a full on animated series. But anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to subscribe, like down below, write a comment about this episode. I would like to know, is there an ability for one of these characters that you came up with that has never been done in this show and you thought would be a great idea? Because I would love to see what your creativity would come up with. But anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.